What's up guys, today we're back with another system test, I don't know the model, or the test number, because I haven't recorded in a while, so I'll add it in the title, but won't be saying it in here because I forget, and I'm joined with lights, locks, and alarms. Yep, so we got some requested fire alarms up on the system today, and it is a pretty cool system test actually, um, one of the cool cooler ones I've done. So let's get into the video. So of course we have the FX-254RD as our main fire alarm control panel, the same monitoring module and everything. The trouble is because I have it unplugged because a 4051 doesn't sound good on FWR. And if we come up, we have my Simplex 2099-9101 metal button dual contact red back T-bar. Well, that's a lot. Um, as the pool station, I was allowed to put two alarms of my choice on the system, so I decided to put this T-bar up. If we head up, of course we have the same piece of crap smoke alarm or smoke detector. Um, GE ESL 449 CST, same exit sign combo. And then over here, we have the glorious 405080 with a 4051 on it. Um, so that was requested by Lights, Locks, and Alarms. Going down, we have the 4251-20 Simplex T-Bar Pool Station. Um, pretty nice T-Bar, just a standard, newer 4251-20. Then if we come into the closet, we have the Spectral Alert Advanced P2R. And the cool thing about this is I actually set it on continuous, so rest in peace my ears, because we have an advance on continuous and a 405080 which and 4051 which will be on march time during the test if we come over to this side of the room we have that monitoring module down there and then we have a edwards 270 spo fire alarm pull station same enunciator key switch and if we go up here's the other alarm of my choice my pyrotronics ec-s electronic chime and it is set on a very low pitch and then, of course, the same addressable detector above it. Okay, so um, what alarm should we uh, activate, or what pull station or smoke should we activate first on the system? Do the uh, 4251-20. Okay, and then also got to put hearing protection on because it is a loud system. And get my keys ready because we all know on my panel, you can't silence march time for some reason. I have no clue why it does this but it's how it comes from the factory. So, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, so there we go. Um, it's quite loud. 4051 is acting nice today. It's not acting like how it acts sometimes. Oh, God, messing with that tone volume screw, it gets to be a pain. But yeah, so um, what alarm should we activate second? Obviously, it, the system has to reset, so it won't be like re-alarming. It'll just be another pull station or smoke detector. Do a, uh, do a smoke detector. I don't care which one. I'm gonna go with the crappy one, just cause, well actually, do I have a step stool in here? No, I don't. Well, that's great. Um, okay, I'll try and see if I'm tall enough to magnet test the GE one. So here we go. Oh, God, me. I don't know how I'm gonna reach this. I'll be so I stuck a magnet to my wire strippers, so we're just gonna go ahead see if I can reach with the magnet on the wire strippers. Maybe that worked? No, I don't think it did. 
Let's try this again. Uh. Got it. There we go. There we go. Okay, problem solving 101. Um, should I go with the 270 SPO or the 2099 for the next pool station? 270 SPO. Okay, and then I guess the option is for either of these, I can either key activate it or pull it. Do key activate it. Okay, well, I guess it's screwdriver, but still, same thing, same idea. Oh. Uh, for the for the 270 SPO, pull it for the 9101 key activated. Okay, that works. So just go ahead and pull the 270 SPO. <laughs> Okay, there we go. And our final pull station, I will just key activate. So, take the simplex B key, just open it up, and Okay, so there we go. And then one last thing, I don't test it every time. We'll test uh, the STI emergency push station with the LED. So it just trips the supervisory and it auto resets. So here we go. Three, two, one. And you can see we have the red LED right there. And put the key in and it resets. Anyway guys, that wraps up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please go check out Light Slocks and Alarms YouTube channel. He puts out some really cool content with not only fire alarms, but also really cool lighting fixtures and locks. So definitely check it out. Link will be in the description. Um, is there anything you want to say to wrap up the video? Also make sure to subscribe to NES Man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I can tell you. Great content coming from that channel, uh, obviously. It's, like, the best of the best. Um, okay, I'll stop, like, promoting myself. Um, so that wraps up the video. Hope you guys had an awesome day, and peace out.